Bernard, what are some of the examples of fine-tuning in cosmology? What's, what's the range of categories? I, I certainly know the cosmological constant, which everybody talks about, but give me the, the landscape. Well, first of all, the coincidences aren't just confined to cosmology. I mean, the more basic relationships involve the constants of physics, yes. even before you get into the domain of cosmology. There are four forces in nature, and each of those forces can be described by what's called a dimensionless coupling constant. Mm -hmm. So there's the, the most famous one is the electric fine coupling constant, which is 1 over 137. There's the weak fine structuring constant, and there's the strong fine structure constant, and, and there's also the gravitational fine structure constant, which is, which is tiny. It's, it's 10 to the <laughs> minus 40. <laughs> And so the reason it's so tiny compared to the electric fine structure constant means that the gravitational force between two protons, for example, is 10 to the minus 38 times smaller than the electric force. Now, a lot of the coincidences, the anthropic tunings, involve these dimensionless coupling constants. For example, there's an amazing relationship between the electric fine structure constant and the gravitational fine structure constant which is associated with the existence of certain types of stars, stars which we call convective and, and radiative, where the heat generated in the core gets to the surface by convection and radiation. Mm -hmm. It seems we need both types of stars in our universe, but the only reason they exist is because of a, this remarkable fine-tuning which says the gravitational fine structure constant is the 20th power of the electric fine structure constant. The existence of supernovae, when a, uh, when a star collapses, it gets very hot and there's a burst of neutrinos, and they eject the envelope of the star by weak interactions. Mm. And the only reason that works is because the, the gravitational fine structure constant is the fourth power of the weak fine structure constant. If the weak force was too weak, the neutrinos would just go through the envelope without doing anything. If it were too strong, they would get trapped in the core. And then there are all sorts of constraints on the value of the strong fine structure constant, which is required to have chemistry. For example, if the strong fine structure constant was just a few percent larger, then you would have um, what are called diprotons. Uh, the universe would go into combinations of protons, and that would be inconsistent with observation. If you had it 10% larger, you would have nuclei of unlimited size, so you wouldn't have the, everything in the, in the lighter elements. On the other hand, if you made the strong structure constant a little bit smaller, you wouldn't have any atoms at all. Right. And so there's also a fine structure, all sorts of tunings on the, on the value of the and these strong tunings fine structure within, constant. And these tunings within a few percentage? Is Most of these tunings, it, it depends, but there'd be maybe 10%, some are a few percent. And then there's also an amazing anthropic, well, fine tuning involved on the strong fine structure constant, involved with the triple alpha process, which is a process whereby stars make carbon. Yes. It, it depends on a, on a certain resonance in what's called the triple alpha reaction, which again seems to re require enormous precision. Now, those are. In, the relationships which involve the constants of physics. When you go to cosmology, there are a whole range of other parameters which, again, seem to be or may be constrained by anthropic arguments. For example, the most famous one of all is the, the cosmological constant, right. which we used to think was zero, but now we know it's not zero because we know the universe is accelerating. And the problem is this value is, is much less than the value it could in principle have. In principle, it could be 10 to the 120 times bigger. And Weinberg has a famous argument that the reason the cosmological constant is so small is because otherwise galaxies couldn't form. It would suppress galaxy formation. But there are other cosmological parameters. There's the photon to baryon ratio. Most of the heat of the universe is in the background radiation. And there's this magic number the photon to baryon ratio, which is something like a billion. <laughs> Cosmology doesn't predict why it has that value, but we do know that there are anthropic constraints on why it has to lie between, say, 10 to the 4th and 10 to the 10th for various reasons. There's another anthropic constraint associated with the density parameter, the fact that the density parameter is so close to the, the critical value. Mm. 
separating eternal expansion from recollapse. This is of the whole universe, the mass density of the this whole is universe. The, what's called how the, critical, much, yeah, how the much critical mass density. there is in the, in the volume. And we know omega has to be quite close to one, because otherwise the universe would recollapse too, <coughs> too soon, or galaxies would never form. Now, we emphasized this in our paper in 1979, but now we think that's a prediction <coughs> of inflation. But even inflation requires fine tuning. And there's the, flu the amplitude of the fluctuations which are required to form galaxies, and they seem to be fine tuned as well. So within cosmology, there are all a large number of parameters. That Martin Rees wrote a book called Just Six <laughs> Numbers. And these are the six numbers which seem to be need to be fine-tuned in order that observers can be here. So many people think these cosmological parameters are not actually uniquely predicted by your model of the early universe, but that they could in principle have had other values, but the values they have is selected for. So that's just a brief overview of, of all of these fine, anthropic fine-tunings. But ultimately, whether you believe in it, <laughs> depends on how many there are. <laughs>